Hey everyone, welcome to another Playflow tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Playflow's fast server deployment technology along with Fishnet, an amazing Unity networking library. In today's example, we're going to be using the Fishnet character controller prediction scene. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the network manager in the scene and note down the port. In my case, it's 7777. I'm going to copy the port and then I'm going to go to Playflow and press the get token button to get to the Playflow dashboard. Here I'm going to choose the plan I want to configure. So in this case I'm choosing the studio plan and I'm going to configure the project settings so that Playflow knows what game port my server is going to be running on. So in this case I put down port 7777 and if I need any reverse proxy for WebGL games and additionally making sure that the Playflow API version is 9 so I can take advantage of the fast server deployments. Now I'm going to press the update configuration button, make sure my project configuration is saved, go back to my studio plan, and copy the API token. I'm going to take this API token, go back to Unity, to the Playflow plugin, and paste it into the token box. Here I'm going to make sure I've selected the right server scene, in this case it's the character controller prediction scene in Fishnet, and press the upload server button. Now uploading the server can take a couple of minutes as the server is compiled and deployed onto Playflow. I can verify the new version of the server has been deployed by pressing the get upload status button and noting down the server upload date or version. Once my server is uploaded I'm ready to deploy my game anywhere in the world. So I'm going to choose a location that's closest to me and I'm going to press the start server button. You can see that we got a match ID back with the status of launching for our server. Since we're using the fast server deployment mode, as soon as I press the refresh button, you can see that the server is already in a running status and it only took a few seconds. What I'm going to do now is just copy the IP address of the server and paste it into my network manager as the client address. The next thing that I'm going to do is take a look at the mapped port. Since I'm using fast server deployments, my port of 7777 got mapped to 32134. So I'm going to copy this port and paste it into my client build. So my client can connect to that IP and that port. Now all we need to do is just launch our game and press play. And there you go, you're all connected to our game now. So you can see it only took a matter of seconds from deploying a game server and launching it to having it in a running state where your players can connect. And that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below, or feel free to message me in our Discord community. And as always, thanks for watching.